Alrighty, so we have a mapping to find out for the movie type within our new movies index. Let's go ahead and show you how to actually import a document into that index. And for the sake of illustration, we'll import one of my favorite movies, Interstellar, and the information associated with it. So here's what the format looks like for that request. And again, I just want to back up a little bit here. We're using the curl command just for sake of illustration. It's an easy thing to use while we're messing around and learning. But remember, in the real world, probably won't be using curl to do this sort of stuff. Usually, you're going to be doing something like interfacing with an Elasticsearch cluster from some application that you're writing. So in the real world, you'll probably be issuing REST queries over HTTP from Java or some web framework that you're developing within or some application that you're writing. This is just for the sake of illustration. But for the sake of illustration, let's use curl here. And we're going to create a put request. And we're going to send that to 127.0.0.1 colon 9200. In the real world, of course, you would be sending that to the host name of the actual endpoint for your real Elasticsearch cluster. For us, that just happens to be how we reach it on our desktop. Followed by that, slash movies is the name of the index. Slash movie is the name of the type that we're inserting, so we know what mapping to use followed by the unique ID that we're assigning to this movie. So it turns out that the movie ID for Interstellar in our data set is 109487. So we are, we are creating a document with a unique ID of 109487 that is of movie type in the movie's index, and it contains the following data in the request body. The genre is going to be a list of genres, and we specify a list with those square brackets separated by commas. So it belongs to both the IMAX and sci-fi genres. It has the title of Interstellar, and the year, which we define to be in date format, is 2014. So let's go ahead and type that in and see what happens. So I'm going to pick up the pace a little bit from here on out. I've already started up my virtual box for my Ubuntu Elasticsearch virtual machine, and I've already connected to it using PuTTY on my Windows system to 127.0.0.1. If you need a reminder of how to do that, you can go back to the previous lecture, and I'll walk you through those steps again. But here we are, logged into our virtual machine through SSH on PuTTY. And let's go ahead and do what we saw on that slide and insert the movie Interstellar into our shiny new movies index. So curl dash x put 127.0.0.1 colon 9200 indicates the host name and port that I'm running Elasticsearch on. Slash movies indicates the index name. Slash movie indicates the type, which we mapped previously. And then the ID that we're going to use for this movie is 109487. Dash D, single quote. So now we can start entering the body of this request. We'll start with a open curly bracket. Control V tab. First, we'll define the genre field, which will contain the list in square brackets IMAX and sci fi. Comma, because we're going to specify more fields. The title, for example, will be Interstellar. And the year will be 2014. Close that off and put in our single quote to end that. And there we go. And you can see that we got back a successful response into the index movies of type movie with the ID 109487. We did, in fact, get a created event with a uh, successful flag. One successful request, zero failed requests, created true. That means everything worked. Let me hit enter again just to get a clear prompt there. And that's it. Let's go ahead and retrieve that, shall we? Just to prove to ourselves that it's really in our index. To do that, we can say curl dash x get. So we're setting a get verb this time, meaning that we want to retrieve something from Elasticsearch. We're not putting something into it. 127.0.0.1 colon 9200 slash movies slash movie slash underscore search question mark pretty. Let me explain what this is doing. So slash movies means that we're searching the movies index. Movie means we're searching the movie type. Underscore search means we want to do a search. And there are no further parameters or request body here, meaning that we just want to get back everything. We want to get back all the movies, every movie type that's in our movies index. And question mark pretty just indicates that we want our results formatted in a nicely formatted way that has tabs and new lines and all that good stuff. And sure enough, there it is. There is our interstellar movie from the year 2014 with both the IMAX and sci-fi genres attached to it within the JSON formatted response. So there you have it. We have successfully inserted our very first document into Elasticsearch. And uh, a good choice it is, I think. That's a fine movie if you haven't seen it. All right, let's move on and do something a little bit more complicated, inserting many movies at once. We'll do that next.